Okay, with this one we're asked to condense this into one logarithm, and these are all the natural logarithms here. And it can, these same rules apply for any logarithms that we've got. It can be a base 10 or any other base for that matter. But we're asked, these, we're asked to condense these into uh, one logarithm, and we, these all have this fraction in front here, so we're going to deal with that first. Okay, the very first thing here, uh, using our laws of logarithms, it says that if there is something out front here, we can move this and it becomes the exponent here. So let's kind of look at an example. If I have this one, it's a natural logarithm 4, and I've got the x out front here. This x will actually move over and become an exponent of this 4 here. So it should look like this. Okay, this actually will condense down to this one here. Uh, the natural log of 4 raised to the x power. Okay, so let's do that on each of these. That means each of these is going to, have, this is going to have 1 fourth as the exponent for x, uh, for y, and for z, because these all have a fourth in front. So here's kind of what they're going to look like. All I did is I moved this one fourth from up front into the exponent here using my laws of logarithms. Okay, well, this one fourth here, and we need to kind of uh, move that over and make it into a radical. x to the one fourth power is the same thing as the fourth root. Remember, if you have a fraction as your exponent, that's the same thing as we can convert it to a radical always. So this would be x, uh, the fourth root of x. This would convert it into the fourth root of y and the fourth root of z. So it should look like this. Here's our fourth root of x, fourth root of y, and fourth root of z. Okay, and these are equivalent values here. x to the one-fourth is the same thing as the fourth root of x. Okay, well now that we have that, we've got all of our fourth roots here. Now we need to combine these. They all have the same, they're the same logarithm with the same base. The base is e, the number e. So uh, as long as they have the same base here and it's addition, we can combine those by multiplying these two components, x and y. Let's look at something a little bit different here. Um, these have the same base, the base of e. This is addition. This is 5 in a case. We're going to multiply those two together. That will give us 5k. Okay, now going back and applying that to our problem down here, so I've got, uh, essentially I'm going to multiply each one of these together. Fourth root of x times the fourth root of y times the fourth root of z. And when we multiply those all together, they're all in, they all have a fourth root. So our answer is going to be natural log of, and it's the fourth root, x times y times z. They're all fourth roots, so we can just put them all underneath one radical. will work just fine.